Hi guys, I'm Emma and welcome back to Art by Emma and I left you on a little bit of a cliffhanger last week so we'll uh, pick it up from there. And this is the rock I left you on and this rock is going to become my favourite mini beast of all, a little spider. Now I really don't know why some people are scared of spiders, they're my favourite mini beast of all, they've got all those legs and they're just fluffy and cute and yeah people think I'm crazy but I love spiders. Now earwigs, <laughs> they're not my thing. I mean they've got these pincer things at the front and at the back. You can't even creep up on them and I remember being told as a child that they crawl in your ear and eat your brain. I don't think that's true but I'm not taking any chances. Anyway I'm waffling, I'm digressing again. So the first thing I'm going to do with this little incy wincy spider is use my white gel pen just to sketch in a simple outline for incy and then it's out with the Posca pens. And as I said before, I think I did myself wrong by painting the background black because spiders are traditionally black. But it doesn't matter because this is going to be a little Halloween spider, all nice and purple. <laughs> So with the addition of some little white legs, some beady eyes and a derpy smile, that's Incy done. And so it's on to the final rock of my collection, the fifth one, or the second one for this video. I think I went to say third and I meant second, hence why the second. Sounding a bit like Elmer Fudd. Anyway, and this one I think is going to be a little ladybird. And again, I'm going to use my white gel pen to sketch out the design. So the first head was looking a little bit tiny, so I've enlarged that and now I'm just adding some spots on his or her back. And with the addition of the tiniest legs in the world, I think it's time to whip out the Posca pens. And this is the one that I think having the black background affected the most. Having a ladybird with a brown head just doesn't quite look right, is a bit of a poo head. But there you go, it'll teach me to plan more in the future, so I'm just going to have to go with it this time. Along with his little poo feet, but at least I can use red for his body. <laughs> So after the second coat of red Posca pen applied, I don't seem to be getting very good coverage with my red pen these days. Maybe I need a new one. I've chosen my white pen to draw on my little ladybird's face, but I don't think my brown paint is dried properly, so I've got kind of beige eyes. So recolouring the black dots, and I did add pupils, but I obviously forgot to film them. And all that's left to do is just add the acrylic varnish, because I want these to sit out in the garden. And this gives me a chance to thank you so very much for watching my video and sticking with it with me. If you've enjoyed this video, why don't you give me a thumbs up? And if you've seen any of my other videos or you're new here, why don't you subscribe to the channel? Press that notification bell so you never miss a video. I'm here every Friday. And why not follow me on social media? The links are in the description. And here are my finished mini beast rocks. They're cute, they're not perfect, but they're perfectly mine and I think they're going to look great in the garden. So again, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next week. Goodbye.